Opening statements are underway in the trial against Hunter Biden. A jury is weighing whether to convict him on three felony charges related to his efforts to get a gun in 2018, allegedly during a time of drug addiction. Jurors were seated yesterday, but an alternate had to step in this morning after the judge said one juror said they lived too far away and, quote, begged to be dismissed. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. For the first time in history, the son of a sitting president is on trial. Hunter Biden facing three felony charges walking into court today, hand in hand with his wife, Melissa Cohen. A jury of 12 was seated Monday, but this morning the judge announcing one juror was excused, saying getting to court each day would be too difficult. With an alternate in place, jurors hearing opening statements from both prosecutors and defense attorneys. Prosecutors say in October of 2018, Hunter Biden illegally purchased a Colt revolver while he was addicted to drugs and lied about his addiction when he filled out this federal form. But his lawyers have argued that the form was not clear about the terms user or addict, so their client did not knowingly lie, saying Biden had just completed a 12-day rehab program. The defense also suggesting President Biden's brother, Jimmy Biden, will testify to explain that period of time. Prosecutors are expected to call an FBI agent as their first witness, who will likely present several of Hunter Biden's text messages and excerpts from his 2021 memoir, part of the prosecution's evidence as they try to prove Biden and knew he was an addict when he bought the gun. The jury includes several people with family members who suffered from addiction or who owned firearms, including a man whose father died by gun violence and whose brother was sentenced to prison for drug crimes. The First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden, and Hunter's sister, Ashley, also returning to court today to support him. Despite the delay this morning, the judge expects the case to go at least through June 14th, with deliberations possibly stretching into the following week. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.